It's a very good structure that, of course, enhances transparency and accountability. And it's something that I think Gibraltar should be looking at. Perhaps the, the particular model in the United Kingdom does not work for Gibraltar. But if we're all committed to deliver transparency and accountability, I believe that we should be looking at structures that will enable parliamentarians to scrutinize government on government spending. It's come at a very welcome time. Uh, it was, in a way, complete coincidence that they were looking at the same issue at the same time I was raising it in our local parliament. The meeting last week was very useful in that it was able, we were able to uh, actually sit in on a public accounts committee meeting and hearing and also to understand the interrelationship between the National Audit Office and the UK Public Accounts Committee. And I'll be taking that all away with me and, and having a good think about how we could apply that in Gibraltar. The end result of what the Public Accounts Committee achieves in the UK is something that we can replicate in our own way in Gibraltar. For example, um, the National Audit Office over there takes claims from whistleblowers, from taxpayers, from MPs, and they investigate and they, and they produce reports within three and nine months, depending on, on the nature of, of the investigation that they're doing. But if we had that ability, for example, last week I asked about the, the GMF in terms of value for money, if we could understand what the, what the contract of, on the current organizer is and what the contract of the previous one, which we already know, so that the taxpayer can then um, compare and analyze and, and, and get a, a, an, a, an assessment for their own uh, peace of mind on which one is more value for money. If the audit office, for example, were able to do that type of work for us in terms of research and going into government departments in a way which we are unable to as MPs, because we are either faced with um, answers from the government that is commercially sensitive, or perhaps other times we're told that the, question, the answer uh, requires more than five days and it will stifle government and, and we never get anywhere. If, if we are able to, to produce and, and, and start a mechanism in Gibraltar where that could actually exist, I think that is extremely useful for the taxpayer. You know, I've got very strong views on the reason for not having a pub public accounts uh, committee in Gibraltar. Uh, I think it's, it's not something that is conducive to greater efficiency, but to less. We'll, the, the GSLP policy on it is that we didn't do it in government and we don't participate from the opposition. Mm -hmm. But I can understand uh, why something like that is necessary in the UK and that it does something that, is, that goes beyond simply looking at the public accounts, for example, because it's asked to investigate things. But it was... Uh, one of the things that came across was that the, the, the people who were explaining the function stressed that this was not something that was supposed to be party political. Mm -hmm. that is, and I think in Gibraltar it is party political. That, you know what I, mean? I don't think the people who want it, want it because they want the government to perform better and therefore stand a better chance of getting re-elected. It's because they want to f have things to uh, attack the government with. That's the reality of the situation. But there are things that uh, are being done there which are of interest, particularly there's a small group which is a, a, an, an economic uh, scrutiny group made up with only five people, uh, which produces economic analysis for select committees, which I didn't know that existed, and that I want to investigate further, because that might be a useful thing to have as Minister for Public Sector Efficiency.